Look at the bubbles on the roof of that thing. Oh my. Okay, good morning. We're getting ready to leave this park in Yuma that we are at for the last uh, four days. We're gonna leave tomorrow morning. It's uh, Sunday, Super Bowl day. But I just wanted to take you a walk around into the neighborhood. When we first pulled down this uh, street, we were kind of like, whoa, whoa. Uh, I think we're in the wrong place. And you know, some of the RV parks that are all down this street are pretty old. Really, really, really old and we weren't too sure about where we were going but let's walk down the street and we'll show you where we went you'll like it like i said some of these parks here are really really old and in desperate need of repair and we thought oh no what did we do um it was uh rated you know fairly decent but not great but couldn't get in anything else. So let's walk on down the street and see what we find. This is a very, very old section of Yuma. And actually, if you go up about four or five blocks and over a couple blocks, uh, a lot of new construction and stuff and uh, big stores, Walmart, Supercenter, all the nine yard, everything you need. It's just that down here it's a little bit old, but let's get down to the park where we're staying. Uh, this is not it. Desert Breeze RV Park is not where we're staying. But this is the May Avenue RV Park. Mostly full-timers. Very friendly people. The owner of the park met us here and she closed the office at 1, which is about what time we pulled in here. And she had switched this to a different spot. As it came out, it really worked out nice. We were pleasantly surprised when we pulled up to May Avenue. It's RV Park, 304 South May Avenue. It's a 55 plus community. I mean, it's not a resort, but it's a really nice place to stay. Except for motorcycles, it's kind of quiet. Like I said, this is the entrance we came into and we went, whoa, this looks nice. There's their sign and this is the office. Uh, they have a laundry facility and kind of an outdoor get together place down the road. It's decorated nice. And guess what guys, there's grass here. After being at Courtside and uh, Laughlin, we were starting to forget what grass was like. Okay, we're coming back up the street and out heading towards the, the uh, main road. And we'll be coming up on this Madeline here in a second. But these are some of the spots. The people here are very friendly. Some lady brought us a bunch of fruit from the fruit trees that grow all over the park. It's outstanding. And we had some nice neighbors. They drive the correct truck. <laughs> And they showed us around down in uh, Mexico the other day. So, and we had a good time. So there's Mr. Bob and Miss Madeline. Look at that, guys. That's grass. There's actual grass there. And man, is it beautiful down here. The weather is just outstanding. You is really nice. And we weren't here a day. And Shirley and I were talking, thinking, you know, if we come back to Yuma, we're going to come back here. The heck with all them high-priced RV parks with resort after their name. I mean, there's some nice people here. The people that run are nice. They keep it clean. Unlike most of the other parks around here, it's very nice. So we'll be coming back here, that's for sure. Again, that's May Avenue RV Park, 304 May Avenue, Yuma, Tennessee. Oh, it's right across from Bill's tractor and auto <laughs> if that makes any difference to you but the, the sites are these two sites are huge actually there's three sites there but these two right here are huge if we come back next year 
if we can get these two spots and get uh, our friends in here, it'll be great. So. Try and go down, go out the road we came in on. If I can make that turn, I really don't want to go by them big honking tree. Drink the water. I saw the light on, so I decided to knock. Go home. Tucson or Benson. That's our next stop for the week. As down the road, road we, we go. go. Well, we really hated to leave Yuma. Boy, it was uh, really nice down there. It's nice and warm. In fact, it was the warmest uh, place we've been so far uh, in the 80s. So it was great. Lots of nice things to do down there. Uh, a lot of nice people. The park was nice. We just hated to leave, but you know we got to be heading towards the house. And we had still a lot to see, so we headed off to, uh, we wanted to stop in Tucson. Couldn't really find a good place there because there was some big gem show going on down there. So we went on to Benson, which is just down the road about 40 minutes, and we could, you know, still come back up to Tucson and look around. Had a little trouble getting in. We had reservations down there, but they put us in a back-end slot for a 20-footer, and we got a 35. Guess what? Didn't fit. So we found a nice place uh, over in uh, uh, Quarter Horse. Uh, motel and RV uh, right next to the railroad track so that was interesting we'll show you a little bit more about that park when we get there so down the road we go we're heading down to uh, Benson Arizona for the rest of the week and uh, a lot more adventures coming up so we'll talk to you then guys take care Get into the Pedro. Uh, pretty much, and trying to put a dime in a, or a quarter in a dime slot, I just couldn't get in it. You know.